welcome to Old Ways of Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa and I'd like to welcome you to my backyard on this beautiful, warm and very sunny, what I call Irish Day, because I don't celebrate St. Patrick. He was a very evil man. I celebrate Irish Day. We eat all the green, we wear all the green, and today I'm going to be planting all the green. Oh, lots and lots of different lettuces, and at the end, uh, some Russian kale. So, let's get started. I have my seedling tray ready to go. It's already been moistened very well, and I have all my labels already done. This is one of a few things that's really good at Dollar Tree. Don't get the seeds at Dollar Tree, but the markers are wonderful. Now I'm using, I'm, I'm doing bad, I'm using a Sharpie marker. You do better writing with pencil or pen, regular pen, not gel pen. But as long as I keep these uh, from getting wet and keep them from seeing sun too much, they'll be fine until I transplant them in my little raised garden. So, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different lettuces we're going to plant. And at the end, two rows of Russian kale. Now, some of the lettuces, I'm going to be planting a single row, which is one, two, eight plants. Eight plants of several kinds. And then there's a few that I'm going to uh, do double rows. And, of course, let's get started. I have a big variety of different seeds. Some I grew myself and saved the seeds. Some I got at seed swap. Some were gave to me. And you know what? I'm thankful for them all. Okay, and the first one we're going to be doing is a Paris Island Cos Romaine. And of course, I ripped the top off of it, so I can't read it. You want them about a quarter of an inch deep. And I only like to do one seed per sale because I don't like to split seeds. Okay, I have three. Almost forgot my own rule. Always count four, five, six, seven, eight. And that one's going to get two seeds because the soil is wet and you don't want to put a wet a seed with some moisture on it back in your pack. And of course there will always be those that don't want to go exactly into the hole. Just make sure you get them in there. And of course I'll cover them all back up. I'll cover them up when I get done. On to the next lettuce. I'm not going to plant a whole lot of lettuce. But it's going to be plenty enough to have a whole bunch of salads and sandwiches. Okay, the next one is lettuce bowl or salad bowl All American selection this loose leaf lettuce is good for hot weather areas because it is slow to bolt to seed oh this will be a good one I might have should have done two rows of it crisp tender leaves have an appealing apple green color see they are pretty and this I got at a seed swap 
and of course it's gonna be one of those that you can't open unless you got scissors and thankfully I had some out here you never know what you're gonna come Go deep enough, of course not. There we go, finally. Ooh, there's a bunch of little seeds in this one. Oh, it's a pretty dark, dark colored seed. Little bitty seeds, too. Of course, these seeds have a mind of their own. Unfortunately, there were quite a few doubles planted. Okay, on to the next one. This is called uh, red lettuce. I have no clue. This is the only downfall sometimes to the seed uh, swap at the library. They don't put the actual name of the, the lettuce or the plant. Great, did they give me any seeds? Well, apparently, they do not want you to grow lettuce. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just barely enough to do one row on the, in the seed tray. Well, I got all those planted, and I can recycle this uh, seed envelope, because that's all the seeds that was in there. Now, the next two lettuces are very interesting ones. This one comes from Baker Creek. It's called Flashy Butter Gem. Now here's the funny part. This one, with a different name, looks absolutely like this one that is a Yugoslavian red. They both look just alike. So can we say just a tad bit suspicious? Ooh, I got plenty of these seeds. Let's see. Another flashy introduction from Frank Morden, Shoulder to Shoulder Farm. Nearly full size romaine type dappled in dark red. This one is a high yielder and makes a great early baby romaine lettuce. And of course, you want to plant them all quarter of an inch deep. I get the seed to come out, come on. And of 
course, we're warming up really high today. We're supposed to be close to 80 degrees today. And then, of course, it's going to be back cold tomorrow. So it ought to be interesting. Oh, I was going to do two rows of these. But look at that. Is that not a beautiful lettuce? I'm hoping these come up. Because I do so love fresh lettuce. We'll find out. Let's see. Oh, and these are frost hardy too. Yep, all lettuces are a quarter of an inch deep. Now we go to the Yugoslavian red. Two different seed, these are from two different seed companies. Plants have two different names, but they look the same. Ooh. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me now. Come on. I don't even think I have enough to plant a whole row. And I don't. Oh well, we'll work with what I have. Nope, that was five seeds. And that was it for that pack. Alright, I'm going to have to scoot everything down because I was hoping for two rows of that. Guess what's not happening? Okay. I'm going to have two rows of other ones. Okay, this is organic bib lettuce. It doesn't say the name. Let's hope I get a full row. We're going to have to do it like this and pray. I don't clip none of the seeds. Nope. Well, what do you know? They gave me plenty of these. Holes. 
Yep. Looks like I'm going to have enough for two rows for this one. There's going to be two rows of bib lettuce. After you decide to go down the hole, only got two seeds left, so I'm gonna double plant. Yep, and that's all the seeds for that one. Next is green romaine lettuce. Hardy annual 12 inch hedge. This is a dark green romaine with a nice crunch and a full body flavor that sets the standard. It grows well everywhere with some disease resistance. And of course, these are seeds have changed, so they're 100% organic. Well, that's okay. When I get done growing them, they will be organic. Gracious, there's a bunch of seeds in there. Military plane, two propellers. Yes, I said two propellers. Big one, too. Heading for the Navy base. Okay, green romaine. Put another one in there because that other one just went wherever it wanted to. And of course, I can. I'm going to start more probably next week, so I can have a rotation of lettuce and not run out. You don't want to plant them too close together. The uh, the seedlings starting them because you will get burnt out of lettuce okay this is butter crunch lettuce i have no idea what type it is and i have just enough to plant one row I guess you could look at it, it's better than not having any to begin with. I just hope these little seeds come up. Not used to the big yellow ball in the sky, that's hot. Okay, that was the buttercrunch. 
Now this one is a gourmet blend lettuce. I got this at the seed swap. Okay, a complete and colorful salad. Blend of loose leaf varieties, shades of green and red. Contains oak leaf, ruby, tango, lola, rosa, and black seeded simpson. So we're going to have all kinds of little lettuces with this one. Whoa, there's just, oh good gracious, that package is just full. I could feed the whole neighborhood with all these seeds. I'm going to do two rows of these. Oh Lord, that stuff stinks. It's a miracle I don't get a contact eye out here, I swear. Don't have the money to pay their rent and everything, but they can buy drugs. No, I'm not going to get on my soapbox. It's too pretty of a day, and I'm not going to let them run it. Okay, and just go back through and make sure all your little seeds get tucked in. Okay, on to the next one. I'm going to do two rows of this one. It's all season romaine blend. So it's going to be all different kinds of romaine. Hello, Houdini. What baby? Hold on, Mama's almost done. I'll give you some love in a little bit. Come here. Come here. Oh, you're going to flop down at my feet where I can't get to you. 
and fuss at me from under the table. Okay, very last two rows, I'm going to be starting some red Russian kale. Well, I might be finding something else to plant, looks like. Come on, there you go. Didn't get enough. So let's see which one did I. Let's see, I should have enough of this one. There you go. Come on. Oh, a cloud. Thank you. It was starting to get warm. And this is a flashy butter gem. See, sometimes you just have to improvise. It all works out. And try not to move your foot so you don't step on a Houdini below you. tray is full and let me let me tell you this is a lot a lot of seedlings so I'm gonna go through lightly cover them because remember they only need to be covered a quarter of an inch and of course I know some of my cells are empty which is aggravating but By the time these are planted in the ground, once they come up enough to be planted in the ground, then I'll have them ready to roll to start my summer seed, which won't be too much longer. Oh, that breeze feels good. My sun got hot there for a little while. Just it never fails. And then Evil can evil. I'm 
I'm gonna pause it until Evil Knievel goes by. Okay, Evil Knievel one and two have gone on. I've finished covering up all the little empty spots and you're gonna want to gently pat them in to make sure they get good soil contact. I'm gonna miss the top just a little bit and then I'm gonna put them in the hoop house and they should start germinating in, in about anywhere from four to eight days. Now see how simple and easy that is? Hold on a minute. Sorry about that everyone. It's just part of living over here in the hood. People don't know how to act. Alright, see how simple and easy that was? Anybody can grow their own lettuce. Now, if you don't want to transplant it out like I'm going to be doing, you can always go on and plant your seeds where you want them to grow at or cast your seeds and then cover them up. Either way, it's lettuce, it's gonna grow. Simple, easy, and we're gonna be eating good in about, oh, a month or a little more. I hope this video encourages you that yes, you can grow your own food. You can be self-sustainable. Yes, you can. Everybody, take care. I hope y'all have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. Yes, well, Irish Day. And I know this video is going to be several days later, but it's okay. Every day is Irish Day when you have Irish heritage in you. Everyone, take care. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And may you each be blessed. Everyone, take care.